All right, guys, we got the supercharger on the table here and a loaner tool from O'Reilly's. I want to get rid of this stock three inch pulley or 2.95 or whatever it is. I'm just go down a, a couple sizes, nothing too crazy. Plus I'm running the stock uh, crank pulley, so it won't be a really huge increase, but I just want to get a little bit smaller one and maybe one with the, the grip tech um, brand with a supposed to grab the belt a little better. So maybe we'll try to find one of those. But I know they sell tools to take these off, but we're just gonna take it easy and go slow and just try it this way with this loaner tool. And um, then we gotta get the snout off because uh, the new pulley, the hub for it anyways, gets pressed on. And then once you get that hub pressed on, you could do pulley changes by just undoing the bolts and leaving the hub there. It's kind of like that. You just, it's got 10 bolts and probably why they want you to buy that special tool I probably should have put a plate or something else for it to grab on but I don't know if this pulley is usable I wasn't gonna use it anyways but oh well got it off of there safely though no damage to the supercharger so we're gonna start taking the snout off that way we can get the new hub pressed on and it looks like there's two bolts up here and three along the bottom, so we'll start there. I don't want to mess up this vacuum line, but I'll deal with it in a second. sides of these things there's these little tabs and I think you can wedge right here to pry them off that sealant's got it pretty good I'm gonna give it a little wedge here apparently there's six bolts and this one right here by the this bracket goes all the way through to the the base so there's Two big long ones and four little ones. Well, now you know. see all the RTV they use to seal this up so I'm going to have to clean all that off and pressing on the new pulley you got to support this end of the shaft you cannot bend these at all though so got to support it you know they sell a tool that goes around it like that but maybe we could fab up something to press it on and in there is the isolator and this is all kind of new to me, but I thought they didn't have a spring in them anymore. Um, but maybe they all do. I have to look up if that's the solid one or not. Because there's an updated one and I don't want the old one. So since we're checking things out on the blower, uh, we found that isolator. So let's check the oil. This is the, the rear of the supercharger and there's a fill port here for the oil and I just want to see if there's any in this thing it's brand new I should you know you'd think there would be some in here but there's some oil on it but it's not coming out I don't know if it's supposed to 
you know, drain out right away, or maybe the this table might be tilted a little bit, but there was definitely some oil in there at one point. It's got a little O-ring on there. Let's see if anything comes out if I do this. Hmm, nope, yep. It's got some oil in it, and it looks clear, so. I think we're good there. Doesn't hurt to double check though. I'm glad we did for at least for the isolator too. All right guys, well, we've got the hub here, got the pulley taken off, the bolts were just finger tight at first. We've got to get it pressed on the snout and it goes this orientation. Well, I guess, I guess you could say this is the sh shallow side facing me. So that gets on this way. And the pulley will slide kind of over all of that. Uh, so we got to make sure we get that nice and square in the, the press. And for the reverse side, I've got this impact uh, rated uh, socket. I'm going to slide it over the end of the shaft. And that way we'll be off of these uh, splines here. We can't bend those at all or mess up the bearings. All right, well, we've got the snout set up in here got the socket under here got it kind of centered I want to start putting a little pressure on it um, you can see the bearings are not there's no, there is absolutely no force on the bearings right now I'm just gonna go little by little here install the pulley. Uh, here's another side-by-side -side comparison. This should get us a little more speed on the rotors with some more boost. So uh, get rid of this old broken one and just got to make sure that it's nice and clean in here. Nothing in there that could uh, interfere with the fit and then just slides on like that and you got 10 of these little bolts here and also when you first get it on there depending on the size of your pulley check to make sure there's no rubbing the snout of the supercharger has some variation from one to one so if you get it smaller than say a 2.4 or so it could start rubbing and some people have to sand the snout or grind away some of the, the higher areas but I've got some of this blue Loctite but this is a gel form I I like it better. The gel one just seems less messy. We'll see how it does on here, but you're only supposed to put it on the first five or six threads and it can't be like dripping off because you could end up sealing the pulley to the hub and just making it difficult to get off. So they say just put a little bit on the first, uh, you know, five, six threads. And, and yeah, just don't overdo it here. Just takes a little bit of this stuff. Got some on there. We'll do this 10 times. All right, so. ZPE calls for seven Newton meters or 62 inch pounds on these things. We've got the blue Loctite on there. They're just uh, finger tight with the, the impact and we're gonna torque them down now. We've got it set up to seven Newton meter or 62 inch pounds. Um, man, that is really not that tight. Like I'm holding it just to pull it by hand here. All 
All right, there we go. Got the blue Loctite. I've got the regular and the gel, but I like the gel. Got it pressed on, torqued to the spec. Doesn't rub. Uh, got to get this RTV off. I've got a white uh, 3M roll-off disc. They're a bristle. It's kind of like a rubber plastic bristle disc, and it's pretty. This white one is gentle, so it shouldn't take any of this aluminum. We'll hit it with that. I scraped it with a razor blade already, but we'll get the rest of it off with that. And uh, I'm still waiting on the solid isolator. We're moving along. So I flipped over the blower, and this is the gasket side. You see this locating dowel they have here, uh, which if you have an LSA car or, or ZL1, their heads have a provision for this to help locate the blower, but our cars and a lot of uh, LS3s and whatever else is not an LSA doesn't have that hole, so we gotta get rid of that pin. Some people grind it off, I've seen Another guy just kind of break it with a uh, chisel. So I feel like the chisel is the less dirtier of the way, like maybe the less shavings will go and maybe just a tad quicker. So I'm gonna just give that a try. Try not to to uh, hit the, the mating surface of the gaskets here too much. Ooh, gotta be careful there. I don't want to mess up the supercharger, so let me maybe I'll get some tape. I've got this thin piece of metal here. Well, hopefully, this thin piece of metal will just give me a little buffer here. Took a little force, but I got it. One little indent there, but I think the gasket will, you know, the ceiling surfaces around the ports here, and there'll be a gasket over that, so. All right, no metal shavings. The dowel pin's gone. And if you look, it's, the dowel pin broke below the surface of this, so we're, it's clear. Like, we won't have to worry about that hitting anything down in there, so. Nice. <laughs> So here's what we got so far uh, using a razor blade and this plastics uh, scraper. Um, use some brake parts clean. And it's not perfect, but good thing about RTV, it doesn't have to be a perfect surface. It's pretty forgiving. So we're going to go back with some black, uh, the ultra black RTV and uh, get this thing sealed up. All right, it's about time to bring these two pieces together of the got the snout and the body of the supercharger here you can see the old isolator I'm getting rid of that junk because that has a million recalls and causes a lot of problems then we got the solid one here so that just goes in here it doesn't really matter which uh direction you go with this because it's symmetrical and now we're going to put a thin layer of rtv on here all the way around and uh we'll get these two pieces mated together so we've got the snout loosely on there the rtv fresh rtv Instructions say remove this cap and give it a tap on the end, a light tap to seat the coupler in there. Uh, it feels like it's rolling over smoothly already. 
So I'm just gonna give it a just a quick little. Yeah, it feels good. Um, now we got to torque this thing down. Uh, it's 20 foot pounds, or yeah, 20 foot pounds or 27 newton meters. And the torque sequence is not critical. It says. There we go, torque down. You can see some of the RTV back there squeezing out a little bit. Uh, looks good, feels smooth. Uh, this is gonna be awesome. And we got that 2.45 pulley on here. Um, she's getting close, guys.